What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And on my channel, I talk about fragrances and fashion. So I'm going to have you looking good and smelling great. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And take a quick second as well to hit the bell icon as well. That way, you get notified every time I release a new video. So guys, on today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 fragrances that are currently blowing my mind. Well, I guess they aren't technically blowing my mind because my mind is still intact, I think. But what I'm really trying to say is these are 10 fragrances that I'm really, really enjoying at this particular moment. So that's what we're going to be discussing today on this video, guys. These are 10 amazing fragrances uh, that I would highly recommend to you guys. So if you want to hear what my 10 choices are, you know the routine, keep it locked right here. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump into the list. Before we start, guys, I want to say that this uh, video is being brought to you by my folks over at Scent Split. It's a place where you can get decants of fragrances from a one to nine mil sample. I highly recommend sampling fragrances, especially when they cost a lot of money. I highly suggest you sampling a fragrance before you buy a full bottle. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the list. The first fragrance I want to talk about today is El Born from Carna Barcelona. This is a beautiful fragrance right here. And this is one I've had in the collection for a while. But because I have several other fragrances that kind of fit this same profile, uh, this has honey, vanilla, and heliotrope. So I have a couple fragrances in my collection that have a similar scent profile that I have been giving more attention to. But I circled back around to this one uh, about two weeks ago and started getting a few wears out of it. And I really, really enjoy it. And I'm really, really impressed by what it is or what you get with this one for the price. Because this one is not, uh, it's niche, but it's not a super expensive brand. So you can get this one at a relatively, uh, what I would say, reasonable price. But again, uh, if you would like to sample any of these fragrances, like I said, Scent Split is a great place to do it. I think they have a lot of these on their site where you could do that. But this is a beautiful fragrance. If you like uh, fragrances with vanilla, you'll probably love this fragrance from Carna Barcelona. Again, this is Elborn. The next fragrance I want to talk about is from the house of BDK Parfums. And this one right here is called Rouge Smoking. Guys, this is an amazing scent. I don't have many fragrances in my collection that really feature the note of cherry. And this has a beautiful cherry accord uh, that lays right on the top of a bed of just very... Uh, ambery kind of smoky accords. This is a really good one right here. Women and men can wear this fragrance. I did pick this one up from Scent Split, uh, but this one, uh, like I said, it has that cherry, which to me that note really oftentimes can really lean feminine, but when you get those kind of smoky accords underneath it, it really makes this uh, suitable to wear by men as well. So a great unisex scent. Um, if you're interested in uh, a fragrance that may have a cherry type of accord to it. This is one I would highly recommend. This is an amazing fragrance right here from BDK Parfums. Again, this one is called Rouge Smoking. Guys, I picked up a few other samples from the house of BDK Parfums because I wanted to kind of explore this house a little bit more. And of course, scent split, excellent shipping. Got my fragrances within two days. I got several samples from the house of BDK Parfums because the house was a re relatively new to me. I haven't heard as much about uh, this house as of course some of the others on this video but another standout to me uh, that I received was this one right here called Grease Charnel. Really really enjoyed this one man. It has a nice uh, tea opening. Nice sandalwood and taco bean dry down. Uh, this is a 5 mil decant and again you can get this size for about $16.99 on the site. Uh, but this is another one fragrance from that house that I would highly recommend. Um, if you dig my flavor, my taste of fragrances that I normally enjoy, you'll probably like this one as well. This was a nice one to give a try from the house of BDK Parfums in addition to the Rue Smoking. All right guys, the next fragrance on the list of fragrances that are currently blowing my mind or getting a lot of attention from me. Uh, this one is from the house of Byredo and this one is called Gypsy Water. Gypsy Water. Now those of you that have been following my channel for a while, you probably have heard me talk a lot about Baldafrique. 
uh, from this same house. And that's still my favorite fragrance, I would say, from Byredo. But this is a really, really good one. And I've been giving this one a lot more attention here as of late. Um, initially, when I uh, first really looked at note breakdown and stuff like that, the note of pine was in here. And I'm not usually the biggest fan of that particular note. But, man, I'm telling you, this is really good. If you smell fragrances like uh, Ombre Calabria from from the house of Nishane. Uh, it's kind of gives me a similar vibe because it has a very nice, fresh, citrusy opening. Uh, but the dry down is about sandalwood and vanilla, so you get a lot of sweetness on the dry down. I like fragrances that give that contrast. And actually, the pine gives this one a very, very, uh, it's a very appealing note in this particular fragrance, the way that it's used. Kind of contrasting the sweetness that you get from on the dry down. Uh, with the vanilla and the sandalwood with that nice fresh citrus opening. So guys, this is one that I would highly recommend you check out. It's great for the springtime. The spring is right around the corner from the house of Byredo. This one right here is called Gypsy Water. All right guys, the next fragrance on my list, uh, I've talked about this fragrance recently, but I'm gonna keep talking about it. <laughs> from the house of Frappin, this is 1270. 1270. And this is just a fragrance that I could just sit here and do this all day long. Hey, listen, it's really that good. It's really that good. I will tell you, the performance is not good on this fragrance. It's not good. I told you guys before, that four or five hour mark is all you get on this, but man, is it a good four to five hours. So, I will highly recommend sampling this one first, but I will tell you, more than likely, you will spend a lot of your day doing this with this fragrance because it's so good. It's so good. Like I said, I give this one a pass on performance because the scent is so freaking good. From the House of Frapp, and this is 12 set. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list today of fragrances currently blowing my mind, and I've, I've reviewed this one from the House of By Killing. This is Angel Share. This is Angel Share. And a lot of folks have talked about this fragrance, and for good reason, for a while it was sold out, and you really could not get your hands on this stuff. Um, guys, if you can get your hands on a sample of it, at least I would say sample it. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> you know, I just mentioned Frappin 1270, and these don't smell exactly alike, but they will put you in the same mindset. Both have like cognac, uh, vanilla, uh, these sweeter, ambery type of accords uh, in them as well. But this one performs really, really well. Whereas Frappin 1270, you don't get great performance out of it. Again, I'm not saying they smell exactly alike, but they're a similar uh, fragrance. So this one is one that does perform. This is great. Cinnamon is in this as well. Another note that I love. I highly recommend sampling this one because this fragrance is really, really blowing my mind right now from By Killian. This is Angel Share. All right, guys, and the next fragrance on my list, uh, this fragrance made my 10 fragrances for life, period, um, list. And this one is from Perfume Aroma, and this is called Aqua Viva. Aqua Viva. It's just a beautiful citrus scent. There's really one note that I would mention, really, is lemon. It's one of the most invigorating, most refreshing fragrances I've ever put my nose on. And that's why, uh, as I explained in that video, that's why I made the list, man. This is so good for a citrus fragrance with the note of lemon. It's such an authentic smelling lemon. It's like you actually cut in lim a lemon open and just kind of put it up to your nose and threw a little bit of, of a woody uh, background to it. That's really what you get with this fragrance, man. But it's one that I would definitely sample uh, again. The next couple months is going to be getting warm outside and this is a fragrance that i would recommend you have in your collection because it will is very uplifting and you kind of need that on uh days when it's really really hot outside so this is one i highly recommend and it's really really blowing my mind right now from the house of our perfume aroma this is aqua viva all right guys the next up on the list this fragrance is from the house of initio parfums and this one is called side effect Side effect, side effect, side effect. This is very, very sexy, guys. I know Oud for Greatness gets a lot of attention from, from this uh, particular fragrance brand, but this one is really, really good as well. Uh, this was another one for, that has that cognac, cinnamon, tobacco uh, kind of vibe to it. Of course, I love those kind of fragrances. And I mean, when it's seasonal, guys, around this time of the year, these are normally, I'm wearing these fragrances more. So, of course, they're going to get... Uh, more attention and more wear during the colder months of the season, which these are appropriate for. But 
If you never put your nose on this, this is another one that's blowing my mind right now. This one's called Side Effect. All right, guys, the next fragrance on my list, this fragrance is from the house of Tom Ford from the Private Blend Collection, and this is Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry. Needless to say, in addition to the fragrance, I love the bottle. You guys know I love red. And, um, man, this stuff right here, man, has a, this has a sour cherry note in the opening of it uh, and bitter almond. Beautiful, um, interesting uh, accord that's created with those particular notes. But of course, on that dry down, of course, you get that nice uh, vanilla that comes into uh, play with this fragrance as well, man. But this is just a sexy one uh, from Tom Ford. I waited a little bit of time to get this, my, my hands on this one, uh, but I did pick it up for my birthday this year. And, you know, it's one that I've been wearing and really, really enjoying. The second fragrance on this list that had uh, a note of cherry. Um, that's never happened before, but man, this is a good one. If you never put your nose on this one, again, this is one I highly recommend as well from the house of Tom Ford. This is Lost Cherry. All right, guys, the next up on the list, another fragrance that made my uh, 10 fragrances for life period uh, list. This fragrance from, from the house of Atelier de Sores, and this one is called Lune Feline. Lune Feline, guys, and this, <laughs> This is a smoky vanilla fragrance. Ah, oh, man, but it's so resinous as well. This is smoky, resinous, vanilla goodness. I told you guys, I love, the opening is nice with that kind of smokiness. And like I said, it's so smoky, it reminds me of the type of smoky resinous qualities that you get from I'm Watch Interlude, man. But on the dry down, you get this sweet, warm vanilla cookie vibe and it's so freaking amazing guys so sample this one if you can get your hands on it from the house of atelier des Ors. this one is called loom for me and last but not least guys this fragrance is from the house of frederick mall and this one is called french lover french lover and this is the perfect time of year for french lover the fall winter season guys this is a spicy woody green fragrance it is so masculine but so sexy uh again if you like fragrances like uh from creed the spice and wood which is a fragrance that i really really love as well but this is a little bit greener and a little bit uh woodier than that fragrance and actually performs just a little bit better but guys try this one try it try it try it if you like fragrances uh, again woody green smoky masculine fragrances this is one you must try for my gentlemen out there you must try this fragrance from the house of frederick mall this one is called french lover all right guys that's it that's my time i hope you enjoyed this video today as i gave you 10 fragrances in my collection that are currently blowing my mind i always appreciate you guys tuning in and taking the time to watch these videos because of course i know uh, you didn't have to do that and i sincerely appreciate the viewership and the support I always sincerely appreciate that. So I hope you guys will continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think uh, could use this information. Even, of course, find me entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you, you know what, on the flip side. Peace.